Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make yet another quartz house. By the way, if you have any more house related needs, quartz or otherwise, feel free to check out the card system and the links below in the description for my various house tutorials playlist. There's quite a few houses in there. If you want to make the house, however, here's what you're going to need. You will need some block of quartz, also grab some spruce wood planks, then grab yourself some glass pane and finally grab yourself some glass block and these are really the only four materials that we're going to be needing so once you have each one of these and once you've figured out where you want to make it i'll be making it right here you're going to want to kick off, kick off your house with a row of four block of quartz coming directly up from the ground so that's one two three four just like that. And once you have your row of four block of quartz, you then want to take this fourth block, this top block, and go right of it by five. So that's one, two, three, four, five. You then want to connect that fifth block to the ground like that. You then want to take this fifth block again that we just connected to the ground and go right of it again by a further five. One, two, three, four, five. Then connect that fifth block to the ground. You then want to take this fifth block and go right of it by a further five. One, two, three, four, five. Then connect that fifth block to the ground to give you three nice, lull, even archways. Once you've got that taken care of, this is what you want to do next. So, you know how we have these three archways on the ground? Well, we now want to do the exact same thing on top of these archways. So, starting from the left-hand side, first of all, on top of this block, you want to go up by four. So, that's one, two, three, four. Then right by five. One, two, three, four, five. Then connect it to the lower part of the framework. And you guys might be able to see where this is going to go. Then you want to take this fifth block, go right of it by four. Or sorry, go right of it by five. One, two, three, four, five. Then connect that fifth block to the framework, like so. Then take this fifth block and then go right of it by five. One, two, three, four, five. Then connect it down to the previous part of the framework to give you a grid shape, like this. Once you have this grid shape, this is what you want to do next. So, we now want to do a very similar thing to the second level that we've just made, except all we want to do is we want to take this left archway here and this right archway, and we only want to extend up the left and right hand side. And this is what you want to do. So, on the left hand side here, you want to, on top of this block, go up by four. One, two, three, four. Then go right by five. One, two, three, four, five. Then connect that fifth block all the way down to the previous part of the framework. Then you want to skip this middle bit right here. Come to this block. Then go up from it by four. One, two, three, four. Then go right by five. One, two, three, four, five. Then connect that fifth block to the ground if you guys can see exactly what we've done here. Nice and simple. So that is the back part of the framework 100% complete. This is what you want to do next. So you now want to figure out which side you want to be the front and which side you want to be the back of your house. For instance, this is going to be the back side of my house where I've just placed my quartz. So the front of the house is going to be all the way over in that direction right there. So figure that out for yourself. So this is the back side of the house. And once you figure that out, come all the way to the front side of the house. In which case, this is the front side of my house. What we now want to do is we want to take each one of these connecting quartz blocks that we have around here. Each one of the quartz blocks that touches another quartz block, if you guys can see, the ones that kind of intersect each other. We want to extend each one of those blocks out coming towards the front of the house, each by six, like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 And one, two, three, four, five, six. So you want to end up with something that should look a little bit like this. And let me just consult my plans for a moment. There we go. Wonderful. So you want to end up with something that should look exactly like this. Nice and simple, right? Perfect. What you now want to do is connect each one of those blocks 
to the ground and you also want to connect them together as well. So you kind of just want to connect this bottom row to the floor, then connect them to each other just as I'm doing now. And you also want to collect, connect like the second row to the third row, the third row to the first row. You want to connect everything together. Everything wants to be interconnected exactly as I'm doing now. So you just want to make like a big giant grid shape like this. So you just want to end up with something that should look a little bit like this and I do just want to point this out that you guys can see how at the top we have the middle part separated you want to continue that on the front of this thing so you just want to keep them separated once you've got that taken care of this is what you want to do next so we now want to further extend the house coming out in front so we now want to take again this bottom row and then the second row we don't want to do it with the top row and we want to take each one of the interconnecting quartz blocks and extend them coming towards us by six so that's one two three four five six 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 then the second row as well one two three four five six 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 now the way that we connect these together it might not be entirely obvious what you have to connect together and what you don't have to connect together so let me just do it and then i'll show you guys what you actually have to do so you basically want to interconnect everything together except for the middle part again so it's kind of a similar theme you guys will be able to see what i'm talking about in just a moment so you want to connect everything together other than the middle part there if you guys can see exactly what we've done that should be nice and easy to see and we're just keeping that middle part open so just leave that middle section completely unconnected and once you've done that once you've connected everything else together we can now move on to the final extending part so the final extending part that we have here we're just going to be doing it to the bottom row so we want to take each one of these four connection points extend them out in front of the house each by six one two three four five six one two three four five six yeah one two three four five six and one two three four five six now again you don't want to connect every single one of these together you want to connect the left and right hand side together and you want to leave the middle part just completely alone it's going to die alone unfortunately that's how it has to be so you just want to leave this middle part unconnected and then everywhere else is absolutely fine once you've reached this point right here, you have now successfully completed the framework of the house. And that's a difficult part done. What we're now going to do is fill in all of the floors, and then we'll do all of the woodwork, then the glass, then we'll be done. Let's move on. Okay, so once you've reached this point right here, in its entirety, once all the framework's done, this is what we're going to do next. So we're now going to fill in the entire first floor with quartz block. We're just going to completely fill it in. The reason that we're filling in the floor first is because it'll just make the adding all of the wood and what have you a little bit easier. So I'm choosing to use quartz myself because I know that I want the balconies to be made out of quartz and I just like the effect however if you want to you can fill the entire first floor the entire second floor entire ground floor in with whatever material you want you can use whatever you want of course you could use uh, your spruce wood planks you could use glowstone you could use lapis lazuli redstone block it's completely up to you however I'm going to be filling all of the floors in with quartz and I think that I'm even going to fill in the ground floor with quartz as well. I think I'm also going to fill around the house in with like the little bit that's kind of going to like border the house. I think I'm also going to fill that in with quartz as well but I've not entirely decided on that. So we've just about filled in the entire second floor of the house. It should be obvious what you have to fill in and what you don't have to fill in but once you've filled in the first floor we can now move on to the second floor here. So the second floor we have even more balconies and we have an ever so slightly smaller amount of space on the inside as well. So we're just going to fill in the balconies first and then we can fill in these back three blocks. So we're just going to fill in the, whoops, there we go. We're going to fill in the indoor pot. And as a matter of fact, there's there's an extra balcony on the, uh, on the second floor. Uh, we do have like this middle balcony. It's more of a walkway, really, I suppose is what I'd call it. But we do have a little bit more outside space. So we've also got to fill that in. And then we've just got to fill this in. And then we will be finished. So 
let's just do that and bang so as you guys can see I have now filled in all of the floors it's looking a little bit better and once you yourself have reached this point right here this is what you're going to want to do next so there's no real easy way of explaining how you do this it's kind of going to have to be a show and tell sort of deal so we're now going to starting with the bottom floor by the way with our spruce wood planks we kind of inside both one block inwards and kind of like in line with the bottom row of the house we kind of with our spruce wood planks just want to do a row of spruce wood planks that kind of whoops i've started in the wrong place whoops a daisy uh oh you kind of just want to do a row of spruce wood planks that kind of just goes all the way around the inside of your quartz house and you guys are going to be able to see what you have to do once I actually show you like the end result of this first row going all the way around the bottom. And of course, if you've ever made one of these types of houses before, I've made a couple of houses that kind of follow the same rule. Um, you'll also know what I'm talking about as well. But let me just show you this first row. So we have basically just added a row of spruce wood planks that kind of goes all the way around the bottom of the inside of the house, if you guys can see what I'm talking about. And it's just in line with the bottom row of the house. And it's just one block inwards in relation to the quartz. And let me just show you what I did with the entrance here just to point that out so the entrance of the house is right slap bang in the center of the house there and you guys can see we've just got like a, a double door walkway and once you've got that first row of spruce wood taken care of we're now going to add a second row so the second row actually is two blocks higher than the original row of spruce wood however it does follow the very same rule that you do the exact same thing except it's just two rows high so you just want one row of separation in between the ground floor spruce wood and the ever so slightly higher spruce wood so we're just tracing along the inside of the house here and a little later on we're then going to be filling in the center part with glass panes so what you want to end up with with the ground floor at the very least is something that should look a little bit like this and that just goes all the way around the ground floor of the house once you've got that taken care of on the ground floor we're now going to do the exact same thing on the first floor so coming up to the first floor and the first floor is ever so slightly different because we've got quite a few entrances on the first floor so let me just show you what you've got to do but it does follow pretty much the exact same principle so the first floor has there we go good i thought i did that wrong for a second so the first floor has three entrances it has two balconies well three balconies actually technically it has three balconies so we have three entrances so we follow the exact same rule with the spruce we're kind of just going all the way around except of course we just make room for the balcony entrances and that's exactly what we're doing so here we go that will be the first row and I'm not going to stop to show you this time guys I'm just going to continue on to the second row but trust me when I tell you if you figured it out for the first floor you should be able to quite easily figure out what you have to do for the second floor as well or the I should say that that's the ground floor that we did and then this is the first floor and then that's the second floor that we're going to be doing in just a moment which is ever so slightly different because there's a lot less to do but what you want to end up having is something which should look exactly like this if you guys can see exactly what I've done there it's the exact same thing as we did on the ground floor except it's now on the first floor as well with a couple more entrances and just to point that out right here we've got left righty and middle entrance once you've got all of that taken care of on the first floor we can now go ahead and move all the way up to the second floor here so the second floor is ever so slightly different again as a matter of fact we have the most entrances on the second floor so i'm just going to add everything in and then i'll just point out the differences i think that that's probably the best way to go so on the second floor that we have here is uh we have there we go, I'm just making sure that I'm doing it right, guys. Yeah, there we go, it's kind of like a T-shape like that. Um, on the second floor, we have four entrances. We have... We do have four entrances, right? Maybe we don't have four entrances. Maybe I made that... No, we do have four entrances. We have two entrances onto, like, the two individual balconies. And then we have an extra two entrances kind of leading you onto the middle balcony that we have here. And we've just got a little bit more spruce wood to add. And then we can move on to the next bit. Whoops. I'm getting myself in a really bad position here. But there we go. Wonderful. So you want to end up, just to show you guys a front view first, with something that should look like this. And you guys can see... Just 
just like every other entrance. Now, the inside balcony entrances, you kind of just want a T-shape like this. It just wants to look like a T. Easy as that. And then, obviously, all of the other sides... Oh, God, I, uh, I kind of forgot the spruce wood here on the outer side. Um, on the outsides here, of course, you just want to have the exact same thing that we have everywhere else, just to show you guys that it's the exact same thing. So, once you've got all of the woodwork taken care of, once you have something which should look exactly like this, we can now move on to the next bit. So, we now have the joy, and this is not going to be fun at all, we now have the joy of installing all of the glass pane that is kind of just used as the separation between the two lots of wood. So, I'm going to start with the first floor again, because why not? Why not? Or the ground floor, I should say. I'm trying to, I'm trying to keep everything consistent, because sometimes I kind of mess up, like, sometimes I'll call, like, the very bottom floor this one, sometimes I'll call it, like, the first floor, and I'm, I'm trying to get it to uh, where I kind of, like, call it the ground floor, and I'm kind of going to try and, uh, consistently call it that, just so that, uh, everybody knows what I'm talking about, because... I suppose there's all different types of systems, like, I, th I think most people refer to the very bottom floor as the ground floor, and, uh, like, the first floor as well, the first floor and the second floor as the second floor, but everybody's a little bit different. Oh, I even missed a little bit of wood here, I didn't even realise that. Whoops, it's okay, we can fix it here, so... As you guys can see, we're just adding in all of the glass pane necessary. Oh, we've got some on this side. Easy to miss things, especially on the inside parts. There's not that much wood and much glass pane on the upper on the upper layers. So, uh, the only glass pane that we have to add on the second floor here is a little bit on the sides here, onto like the middle balcony entrance, just on the left and right, and then of course we've just got the outer bit as usual, but just to add, if you want, a little glass pane on the left and right hand side for the middle balcony entrance walkway, and uh, I think it just looks nice, it looks uh, it looks a little nice. So, um, once you've added all of the glass pane in between all of the wood, you want to end up with something that should look exactly like this, looking pretty good. Now, there's only a couple of things left for us to do now. So, we now have to add all of the glass pane that isn't sandwiched in between the wood, and then we have a little bit of glass block to add, and then we're done. So, uh, what I'm now going to do with the glass pane, I'm just going to go all the way around the edges of the balconies with the glass pane, and um, that's just going to serve as kind of like a safety rail or something, and I kind of like the look of it, to be honest. I kind of, I kind of like uh, the look of it. It's... I, I don't know, a, a little bit more glass, it kind of makes it look a little bit, uh, a little bit clearer, a little bit more, a little bit more modern, a little bit more futuristic-y, I, I don't know why, maybe that's just in my own head, but you kind of just want to outline all of the balconies, as you guys can see that I'm doing here, and even on the back here, we just have, like, the other side of that, so you just want to add balconies or balcony rails everywhere that you can see, just like so. What I'm now going to do is I'm now just going to fill in the two little tiny roofs at the very top of the house in with glass block, and as a matter of fact, once you've done that for yourself, you will have actually 100% fully completed the house. That is absolutely everything that you have to do. Now, once the actual house construction is completed, once you've reached this point right here, what I'm now going to do is I'm now going to whiz away. I'm going to mess about with the interior and the exterior a little bit. I'm really not going to do much whatsoever, and then I'm going to be back once I have messed about with it. I'm not going to be showing you guys how to do anything else. The tutorial from this point is 100% over. However, I will show you what it looks like with a little bit of a garden and how much room you kind of have on the inside. It's not much, trust me. Back in a moment. Alright then, guys, so as you might be able to tell, I have done a little bit with the inside and the outside of the house as well. I've not done much, but I feel as though that I should show you what you get in if you do actually mess about with the interior and what have you. So let's take a look. So moving on to the interior of the house, I decided to completely, like I said, I wanted to completely replace the ground floor with quartz and then I kind of wanted the quartz to expand outside. However, I think that if you also used spruce wood planks, that'd probably look good as well. So that's why I decided to go with quartz, but uh, I don't think that it's the material that you have to use, I just, uh, it does look good, but I think that spruce wood would also look good as well. And in the inside of the house, ground floor, we actually have a surprising amount of room. You could definitely use this as an actual house if you wanted to. I can't say the same with the second story. The second story, there's very little room up here. Uh, very, very few options for placing staircases and what have you. We just have one kind of hidden away here in the kind of like bottom right wing of the house. And then we just have a staircase here. I kind of had trouble putting a staircase in the 
on the first floor that kind of led up to the second that didn't really interfere with like these two little huts that we have at the very top of the house so I kind of just put it in the very center kind of out of the way that nobody can see and on the second floor of the house it's kind of cool though I mean it's it's not like the biggest house obviously and it's not the most functional house but it, it's kind of cool there's a lot of outside there's a lot of inside if you if you stick to the ground floor there's a lot of inside anyway and it's uh, I don't know it's, it's kind of a cool feeling house it's kind of like uh, kind of like I don't know Kind of like an adventure, there's loads of indoors, there's uh, loads of outdoors. There's uh, there's not too much separation between it. Maybe I'm just making stuff up, I, d I don't know. Maybe I'm just saying words, but I, uh, I think it's pretty cool. Anyway, I like uh, how many balconies there are and stuff. And uh, that's the inside of the house. There's not too much uh, too much going on with the inside. And neither is there with the outside, to be honest. On the outside, now that we're here, I didn't really... I didn't really find an opportunity to add too much water. Or any water whatsoever. Like a lot of a lot of these quartz houses, I like to add like a bit of a pool and stuff because I kind of like how water looks with quartz. But I didn't really find any obvious spot to place any water, so I didn't. The only idea that I kind of did have was I kind of had uh, had an idea that we could kind of like have water all the way around the house, like the. There wouldn't be any quartz here, it'd just be water everywhere, except for a singular path of quartz kind of like just leading you up to it. So essentially I wanted to add a moat, and uh, that might have looked cool. It could look cool. It probably would look cool, I think. But uh, I decided against it in the end, although that would look pretty good. And uh, here's what we have. This is the end result, guys. Let's uh, let's take a nice little 360 of the house. It's a pretty cool house. It's obviously very, very inspired by both past... Uh, brick houses, both wooden houses, um, it's inspired by a lot of other quartz houses as well, and I've kind of just combined everything together, and um, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, I don't think that it's, you know, the best looking house or what have you, but it's, it's definitely one to add to the collection, I would think. Uh, I definitely like this style of house, kind of like the cubish houses where you kind of just put them together how you feel like it. I've also got another one that I think I'm probably going to do a tutorial for. It's a little smaller than this one, but it's kind of cool as well. Uh, I don't know, I just kind of like these uh, like these types of houses. One of you guys in the comments described these types of houses as kind of like a, a sofa house. And uh, I can see what you're talking about, actually. But uh, hopefully you guys like this thing. I like it. Thanks for watching, guys. And remember, if you do actually like the house, I would really appreciate it if you give me a like, favorite, share, all of those things. Show this video some love, guys. You know I love it when you show me love. And also, if you do have any more house-related needs, feel free to check out the card system once again and the links below in the description. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one.